Hello and welcome to airgunweb.com, your home for honest, real-world airgun reviews and information where we bring you the facts, not fluff. I've been wanting to get my hands on one of these rifles for quite a long time. Now, I love my standard hot sangulation, especially for hunting out in Texas. Unfortunately, it's just too loud to use around the house. But now there's an alternative. One of the new rifles in Hotsan USA's Quiet Energy lineup happens to be the Galatian Quiet Energy, and it's a fully shrouded and suppressed Galatian. My test rifle is in 22 caliber and is loaded with some very cool features. Let's take a look. When you look at the Galatian Quiet Energy, you can tell that you're not looking at just any ordinary air gun. Starting with the synthetic thumbhole stock, it has an adjustable cheek piece and butt stock. You can really customize it to suit your needs. It also comes with swivel studs to clip on the hot on rifle sling. At the front of the forearm, you're going to find a tri-rail system that's sure to please the folks that really want to accessorize. There's even a place for a spare magazine in the rear of the stock, so you're always ready to go with some follow-up shots. The gun has a large, removable 255cc air cylinder that holds up to 200 bar. It delivers about 28 usable shots, which equals two full magazines. There's a pressure gauge in the front of the cylinder, so you always know how much air you have left in your cylinder. The rifle uses a spring-assisted side lever that cocks the rifle, advances the rotary magazine, sets the automatic safety, and then loads the pellet into the breech. It's very smooth after a short break-in period. At the front of the rifle, you're going to find the new Quiet Energy system, which promises a 35% to 50% reduction in perceived sound over the standard version. The new Quiet Energy Galatian 22 averaged about 93 dB in my front yard. That's a huge difference from the standard Galatian. For my setup, I've mounted my 4.5 to 14 Hawk Sidewinder Tactical Scope using BKL mounts. It's really a dream setup for me. The trigger on the Galatian is a version of the fully adjustable Quattro trigger, and it's very nice. I've got mine set to a smooth 3 pounds, perfectly acceptable for field work. There's an automatic safety that's easy to use for both right and left-handed shooters. The Galatian QE is a PCP air gun that operates from high pressure air. Now, I've been using my AirVenturi regulated carbon fiber fill bottle almost exclusively these days, and it gives me five to six good top-offs from 100 to 200 bar. Thanks to my Freedom 8 shoebox compressor, I'm never short of air. I can't tell you how nice it is to be able to fill my own tanks right here in the shop. Once the air cylinder is full, you need to load your pellets into the magazine, load the magazine into the rifle, and then you're ready to rock and roll. I've got a full magazine here. Let me show you how this works. First thing you're going to do is open up that release. Pull back on the handle, install your magazine, close that release. I rotate it a few times just to make sure I'm lined up. Shut the handle and you're ready to rock and roll. Now, the rifle has an automatic safety, so when you're ready, you're going to aim the rifle at your intended target. Release the safety and gently squeeze the trigger. And it's just that simple. Now the weight of the Galatian makes it a very stable shooting platform, especially if you're shooting from the rest. There's no drama here. It's just plain and simple point and shoot. Let's talk a little bit about performance and accuracy. The 22 cal Galatian QE is rated at 1,050 feet per second with standard lead pellets. The 11.9 grain hobbies shot almost 1,100 feet per second. So to tame that down and harness the available power, I jumped straight to the 18.13 grain JSB Jumbo Heavies. You can expect to get an average of around 958 feet per second across the first 14 shots. That's that full magazine. That's going to average 36.96 foot-pounds of energy at the muzzle. As you get into the second mag, the velocity is going to start to drop a little bit. The average velocity across shots 15 to 28 was 900 feet per second. Still pretty doggone stout. 
accuracy with the Galatian was pretty consistent. Now, it's been very windy here in Arizona, so expecting to get really tight groups at 50 yards may be a little bit of a stretch. I'm still very happy with what our Galatian put in, however. Take a look at this 14-shot group shot at 50 yards. So let's talk about our final summary. If you're looking into the hot sign Galatian QE, there's a couple things you're gonna to wanna to know right up front. The first is that the rifle's pretty heavy. So make sure that if you're gonna go out hunting, you've got a good set of shooting sticks or some sort of bipod or something that'll allow you to stabilize the gun so you don't get so tired trying to hold it freehand all day. The second is that the magazine's pretty skinny and that's gonna limit what pellets are gonna smoothly cycle in the rifle. Fortunately, our JSB jumbos work just fine. Once you're past those two concerns, it's pretty smooth sailing. The rifle hits with consistent authority and handles less than perfect conditions with relative ease. The accessory rail accommodates a slew of mountable accessories, allowing you to fully customize your Galatian to suit your specific needs. In good conditions, I bet you one inch accuracy at 50 yards should be pretty easily attainable, providing we do our part. Now I'm happy to say, this is my gun, so it's not going anywhere. So as soon as conditions get better, we're going to take it out and try it again and see if we can prove that point. So definitely stay tuned. I'd like to take a moment and thank the folks at Hot Sun USA and Hawk Sport Optics for providing our review products today. And of course, Pyramid Air for sponsoring our channel in this review. When you're looking for your next air gun or you're looking to fill your next air gun supply order, please visit www.pyramidair.com or give them a call at 888-262-4867. And please be sure to let them know that you learned about them right here at Airgun Web. When you're looking for honest, real-world air gun reviews, think Airgun Web, where we tell you the facts, not fluff. I'm Rick Utzer with airgunweb.com. Thanks again for watching.